This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use drop down menu in After Effects. I've already built out two layers, that's text layer A and text layer B. And the top layer is just a no object which contains all the layer controls. Go to Effect, Expression Controls and choose drop down menu control. Once you have it in your effect control, you could click Edit and they show you how many options you could assign in here because I only have two layers so I'll delete the third one by selecting it and clicking this minus icon. Next I'll rename the layers. Naturally the first layer is A and the second one is B. So what I'm trying to achieve here is when I select A, only layer A is visible and when I select B, only layer B is visible. And to achieve that, we just need to manipulate the opacity properties on both layers. So that when I pick layer A on the drop down menu, the opacity of layer A should be 100% and uh, vice versa when I pick B on the drop down menu, the B layer's opacity should be 100%, otherwise it should be zero. If it doesn't make sense to you for now, it, if it doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it. I'll show you step by step how to achieve that. And also pay attention to the numbers here before the names. This is what we're going to use later on. So just click OK and then go to the opacity properties under layer A. And I'll just hold down Alt or Option and click this dot watch. We're going to use the if else statement here. So if bracket and just pick with this one to the drop down menu. If this is exactly, we use double equals index one. If you remember right, index one is showing the A layer. What we're telling layer A is when this is pointing to the first index, the first layer, I want your opacity to be a hundred. Else, I want your opacity to be zero. Now nothing has changed because we haven't assigned anything to layer B just yet. What you could do is to right click this opacity properties, copy expression only, and under B layer, the opacity property, press command or control V. Now if you open this up, you already have the expression copied because layer A is pointing index number one. So layer B has to point to index number two. Once you have done that, you should see the effect. Now you can use the drop down menu to choose which layer is being visible. What you could do is you could also bring this menu control to essential graphics so that you could export more goods and still choose different elements in Premiere Pro. So that's it. That's basically how you use drop down menu control in After Effects. Thank you very much for staying with me. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more future videos.